If you've looked and looked and still can't figure out how to add text to your video in Camtasia, then this video is for you. If you want to follow along step by step but don't already have Camtasia, we put a link in the description below for a free trial. With the Camtasia project open, click on the Annotations tab. The Annotations menu has a ton of options, but we're going to focus on text, which is in the first tab, Callouts. Under Callouts is a simple ABC option, and that's text only. That may be a common choice, but let's grab a basic callout like the speech bubble so that I can really walk you through all of your options with text in Camtasia. Drag it onto your canvas, and with it still selected, the Properties panel opens. Since we have an annotation attached to our text, we have separate Properties tabs to look at. The standard Visual Properties, and then separate Text and Annotation tabs as well. Under the Annotation Properties tab, we can do a number of things. If you're unfamiliar with themes, I'll add a link to a tutorial about them here. With themes, you can save your brand's colors, fonts, and even logo for easy access in the future. You can even share them with your team so that everyone can stay on brand. I grabbed a default annotation here, so I may want to mess with the color and shape a bit. Under the Shape dropdown, we can choose a variety of arrows and bubbles. By grabbing the handles on the corner of the annotation, you can adjust the shape. If you do it too much, you'll lose the tail of your speech bubble, but you should always be able to get it back by selecting the handle hidden inside of it here. Once you have your shape, it's time to select a color. You can type in a specific hex or RGB code if you know them, or use the slider or even the eyedropper tool to pick the color you'd like to use. Under the fill option, you can choose whether you have a solid color or a gradient, or even if you want an outline, solid or dashed, around the callout, as well as thickness and opacity controls that are just for the outline. The next tab is the text properties, where we can apply a theme or customize the font and style controls. It's got all of the usual suspects for fonts, so nothing unfamiliar there. If you've never used vertical and horizontal spacing before, sometimes referred to as leading and kerning, that will adjust the distance between letters and lines and can often give a slightly customized appearance to an otherwise standard font. Now it's time to add your text. Double click on the default ABC on the canvas. Make sure the text on the canvas is highlighted before typing though. If you click on the callout and resize it that way, you'll change the shape of it. But if you just want to make it larger or smaller, use the Scale slider over in the Visual Properties tab. Under this tab, you'll find not just Scale, but Opacity, which is how much you can see through something, Rotation, Position, and Size, which has less to do with the scale and more to do with stretching the width and height. But I'm ready to animate it. On the timeline, we can adjust the duration of the text. If you know how to use our animations, then you can give a little life that way but I like to simply drag and drop a behavior onto my text, like the sliding behavior. And just like that, my lower third animates on and off screen. If you watched this whole video wondering why we never mentioned how to add captions, well, on-screen text is different from subtitles or captions. If you're looking for captions, we talked about that in this video, so make sure to check that out too. And there you have it. In just a few easy steps, you can add text to your video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.